morning. This is Pastor Jerry Scott, Coffee Break Reflection. It's Thursday morning, the 8th of April. Thanks. Always appreciate a few moments of your time. The world never stands still, does it? How do you deal with the unceasing demands of life? They're always there. The homes we live in, they have to be maintained. A screw tightened on a hinge, a roof replaced, a leak repaired. Just happens. Our relationships require tending to, yeah. I've spoken with people who say, I haven't talked to my sibling for 25 years. When asked why, they shrug, I don't know, drifted apart. Just let it happen. And then, who among us hasn't convinced himself that life is going to be less complicated when? <laughs> and we, you know, move to that new town or find that new job or retire. But the truth is, each new season brings its own new demands for growth. Life never stands still. It doesn't stop. If we're completely honest, some of us will admit, I will, I hope you will, that there are days when it just gets exhausting. It's so hard to keep up. Tragically, some people don't. They just drop out, hide out, wipe out, overwhelmed. Some lay down and just drift with the current and get swept away to irrelevance worse. Others retreat from life and bury themselves in meaningless diversions, hiding out from the real world. Still others make really awful self-destructive choices. But I have better confidence for you and me. You see, God asks for constant growth in our lives, in our walk with Him, our life in the Holy Spirit. He says, I want you to grow on. Yesterday's victories are celebrated. Yesterday's failures are forgiven. Now, He says, lean into this day <clears throat> and make the most of every opportunity. Christian, a word that is used in the scripture is the word persevere, and it's a richly meaningful word in New Testament Greek. Literally, that word that's translated in our Bibles, persevere, is a word that means to stand up under the weight. Listen to how God encourages us to meet life's ongoing demands. In Hebrews chapter 10, we read, don't throw away your confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it will bring you. Patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will, and then you will receive all he has promised. For in just a little while, the coming one will come and not delay, and my righteous ones will live by faith. What a wonderful word. How do we keep on meeting the challenges? Number one, we choose faith. Our hope fully set on Christ's life in us. It's true that sometimes in spite of our best efforts, we meet disappointment. This world is not always perfectly just. In that book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible, we read this, The race is not always won by the swift, the battle not always won by the strong. Satisfaction does not always come to the wise, nor riches to the smart, nor grace to the learned. Ooh. Yes, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. That's why Christians have to take the long view, including eternity, without it. Without understanding eternity, we risk becoming disillusioned, perhaps embittered, and a casualty of the battles of life. Number two, we do God's will on a daily basis, not ours. So critically important. James teaches us about the importance of taking the way of the Spirit. He says, listen, you who say, tomorrow we're going to do this. We're going to go to that city. We're going to spend a year here. We're going to carry on our business. We're going to make money. Why, you don't even know what will happen. What is your life? You're like a mist that appears for a little while and vanishes. And so you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. James chapter 4. Paul echoes that truth by saying, let us keep step with the Spirit. Let's let the Holy Spirit call the, the cadence, so to speak. For when we live in tune with God today, when we're walking in obedience today, when our faith is set to do his will today, we can walk confidently into an unknown tomorrow. Number three, if we want to endure, if we want to stand up under the weight of the constant demands of life, 
We need to hold on to the hope that all things will be set right when the king returns. One day Jesus was asking much of his disciples and Peter looked at him and rather plaintively says, Lord, we've left everything to follow you. <laughs> He's saying, Lord, this is a, a high cost demand here. Listen to what Jesus says to him. I tell you the truth, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age and in the age to come eternal life. For many who are first will be last and many who are last will be first. Mark chapter 10. What's the truth? God never forgets what's done in his name. Uh, the world may, but God never does. On this side of heaven, we may not see our efforts rewarded, but in eternity, there is a sure reward. He will set things right. He will bring justice, <laughs> which is both a comforting and a fearful thought. And he will give us a home where, listen to this, this is the best. Time does not exist where we do live in a perpetual state of perfection. Oh, glorious day. Here's a word I want you to meditate on as we leave company today. Unpack God's truth for encouragement. It'll keep you fully alive in the spirit, able to meet the challenges of this day. Comes to us again from Hebrews, the 10th chapter. Since we have confidence to enter the most holy place through the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body, and since we have a great high priest over the house of God, here we go, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith. And let us hold swervingly to the hope we professed. And let us consider how we can spur one another on toward love and good deeds. And let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. Do all these things all the more as you see the day of judgment approaching. We have confidence. Let us persevere. <laughs> Vince Lombardi, that famed coach, once said this very simply. Winners never quit, quitters never win. Would you pray with me? Lord, as we look at this day on a Thursday, we pray for the grace of Jesus Christ to own our hearts. Father, encourage us, I pray, for those who may be struggling to meet the demands of this day that you would shoot the adrenaline of the Holy Spirit into their souls, cause them to stand firm. Lord, we ask that our hearts and minds would include a grasp of eternity so that we will remain faithful. May we bless you in our words and thoughts and actions today, for if we bless you, Lord, I know that we will bless others. In Jesus' name I ask these things. Amen. Thanks, friend, for the opportunity of having another Coffee Break session with you. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow morning, and until then, walk with Jesus. <laughs>